Hi everyone, this is Joanne from her studio. Uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of something for you today. It's a bit crude. Uh, I'm just using my phone to film this. I haven't got the uh, equipment that I keep telling you I'm going to buy and I haven't yet. Uh, but what I thought was there's a lot of people out there just stuck in their house. Coronavirus, coronavirus, self-isolating. So these two little demonstrations are really for you arty type out there, especially you brush show fans who have probably not picked up your brush show for a while or you, you might be new to it or just want a little bit of brush show inspiration. I'm going to do two little demonstrations for you and these are the warm-up exercises that I've been doing with my classes in the previous weeks. Now obviously all workshops have now finished, which is very sad, uh, but... Let's get going with a bit of inspiration for you guys. And first of all, let's kind of, let's not dwell on, on the miserable stuff. That's what I was going to say. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be using one little brush. I'm going to be using two pots of brush oil. One's the turquoise, one is the lemon yellow. A little bit of wax resist. And my spray bottle. The light is terrible, and, and honestly, I'm really sorry for the quality of this, but bear with me, and uh, once I get my new equipment, I'll be able to produce some really well-lit uh, demonstrations for you, but at this point, you're going to have to just bear with me. So, let's wet this area first. So we've drawn the butterfly out. Excuse the uh, plasters on the fingers. I've been gardening. My hands are an absolute mess, so no rings, no nail polish. Just rough old hands, artist hands, usually covered in paint. Okay, I'm not taking any measure to paint individual shapes. I'm just wetting this whole area. Like little blobby bits at the end. Doesn't matter if I go out of the lines a bit either. So nice clean water for this chap. And Let's add a little bit of brush o magic. And I suppose this demonstration clearly kind of demonstrates that less is definitely best. Uh, your brush o should last you a long time. So I'm going to take a little bit of the turquoise and I'm just going to sprinkle it. I can see a little bit I've missed, by the way. You're all screaming at me, the camera going, You've missed a bit. There you go, it's in now. We're going to sprinkle. Just a tiny amount. Oh, that's a lot. Very easy to get carried away, put too much in. But already, look at that. That's just delicious, isn't it? We've got a little butterfly starting to appear. I'm just running to the other side of my studio to get the kitchen roll. Gosh, this is such a professional video. This is a nice little tip. Let's lift a little bit of that brush away and just smooth that out. Push that kitchen roll into that wet wash. And look at that. Hardly any effort whatsoever. When this is dry or even when it's wet, you can still kind of manipulate the paint and move it around. Uh, but try not to do that too much because what that's doing is it's disturbing all that beautiful texture that you've created here. Another one? Okay. Another butterfly shape. Let's put a little bit of our wax resist into that. So I'll create a pattern with this one where I'll put little circles of the wax. I mean, you can have any kind of pattern you want. It's your butterfly. Maybe some nice shapes here. See where I've drawn the... Those nice linear lines in there just to suggest a little bit of movement and texture within that area. Okay. Again, we're going to wet this whole area right over the whole thing. You can see how naughty brush o can be. It jumps into little places that you, you didn't really want. But luckily enough, we're gonna be using that color in this demonstration. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna take some lemon yellow and let's just sprinkle a little bit of that. There's hardly anything there, isn't there? 
a little bit of the turquoise. Let's do some at the base here. And maybe a little bit at the top. Again, I'm going to take my scrunched up kitchen towel and just lift a few bits away. And you can see here where I've missed a little bit as well. So I can just re-wet that, re-wet it. I love moving the paint around a little bit when it's still wet, but please be careful, obviously, because it's similar to watercolour in the, in the respect that it will kind of go a little bit muddy the more you push it around on the paper. But already we're starting to get this beautiful little shape. I'm going to pick up some of that colour and just put this little chap's body in. I can use the tip of my brush maybe to kind of create a couple of antennas. You could also do that with this little chap up here. Just before it starts to dry, let's just give it a little bit more uh, depth. What I mean by that was we'll try and make it a little bit more three-dimensional. So I'm just going to pop in some darker colour on these wings behind. And pull that colour out. It's kind of nice if you if you kind of do a bit of splattering as well. That's kind of gives the impression of a movement, a little bit of movement going on. You can see those waxy lines. And there we go. Two very simple butterflies. The first one, just wetting the paper directly and sprinkling the brush o in. And the second one, exactly the same, wetting the paper. But before we wet the paper, we put a little bit of wax resist into that. And you can, you can clearly see these little holes here where the wax is taken to the paper. We've mixed two colours onto the wet paper and we've moved that wash around a little bit. Uh, a little bit of splattering, but we're scared of that. And hey ho, we've got another beautiful butterfly. Stay tuned for more.